Hi, I'm Seafood News Managing Editor Amanda Buckle. And I'm Seafood Market Reporter Lauren Castiglione. And today you're going to watch us eat. So today we were sent some goodies from Kore Arctic. Um, say that five times fast. Uh, so they are a salmon company out of Norway. And what's really cool about them is that this past summer, they created their own pandemic baby. So <laughs> what they did was uh, this past August, they developed these really cool salmon hot dogs and salmon burgers. And I mean, it was kind of just to fill a need. Like people are tired of the same old thing. They're getting a little more adventurous with their cooking. We want more healthy options. And enter the salmon and hot dog and burger. So these are, you know, frozen staple items. You can get them from FultonFishMarket.com. And this past Super Bowl weekend, they actually teamed up with Chef Andrew Zimmern, um, who created some really awesome uh, hamburger and hot dog recipes. I've got them right here. We didn't make any of them for you today. <laughs> so, But we were inspired by <laughs> Yes. So Chef Andrew Zimmern came up with a salmon burger with lemon puree, cucumber, salmon caviar, and crispy shallots. Yum. Wow. Um, a sem burger with roasted tomatoes, grilled onions, and citrus herb butter. I would have loved to have tried that one. Yeah. A salmon dog with scallion cream cheese, cucumber, red onion, capers, and everything bagel spice. It's a beautiful photo. It is. Yeah. Um, a salmon dog with red cabbage, bacon, chives, and spicy tartar sauce. And that's it. So that's part of their homecoming, uh, their home gating kit since, you know, we're in the middle of a pandemic and you can't really do anything, have a big party at home. Um, so he came up with these really cool recipes to have these like gourmet burgers and dogs, um, which we would have loved to make, but we're tired moms. And so very tired. <laughs> so we pulled this recipe straight from the Quarry um, Arctic website. And what we present to you today, chef, is, <laughs> is Lauren, why don't you take it away? Tell us what we made. <laughs> so for the salmon dogs, we enveloped them in some crescent rolls, <laughs> tops them with a little bit of um, everything bagel seasoning. That was our inspiration from the Yes. <laughs> and for the salmon burgers, um, we fried up some bacon. We created um, the secret sauce, which is ketchup and mayo. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Um, we have some Asiago cheese. Um, did I say bacon yet? Um, fried up some onions and some romaine lettuce. Some romaine lettuce to, to, to give you a little taste. crunch. Yeah, all on uh, the largest bun I bought by accident. <laughs> so supposedly the brioche bun is in, but because they're in, I, they're very hard to find. So um, so yeah, so without any further ado, we're gonna bite into our salmon dog crescent roll. And I'm gonna dip in some ketchup. I like my stuff dry. Okay. If I didn't know any better, mm -hmm. I'd say it was eating a hot dog. <laughs> Initially, I think it's a hot dog, but now you you get the, the salmon flavor. It's a good texture. It has a good bite to it. I think it's a great way to introduce my kids into getting more seafood into their diet. We make these... Um, with hot dogs at home. They love it. They ask for it every night. I think if I substituted for the salmon dogs, I don't think they'd notice. I think they would eat totally. them eat them right up. And what's really cool is that they have like actually a couple different flavors. So there is original, which is what we had, and then there's original and cheese. So if you really want to get a little wild, but I definitely don't think, I mean, besides honestly, the color is, uh, it's like nice, really pretty, like orange color, which obviously doesn't look like a hot dog. Besides that, we have young kids, we can totally trick them into- Yeah, they would love it even there. more. One of the things with like trying new things is like, okay, like is it, you know, I'm having a hot dog, but it's gonna have like that fishy taste, but I'm actually like, it doesn't have that at all. It's just, and it somehow gets that, that hot dog flavor without being a real hot dog, which is actually really cool because I used to love hot dogs. And then I started being a pescatarian um, about 10 years ago. Um, so I've been eating like veggie dogs ever since, which I always get made fun of. So it'll be finally nice to actually Texture have... Texture on those, not so much, but on these... <laughs> yes, yeah, so we... this is much closer to a real hot dog than, than a veggie dog. So this will definitely be something cool to throw on the grill this summer. And especially it's ahead... Super easy to make. Yeah, we're getting into baseball season, spring training's right in the corner, so these are the perfect thing to, to throw on the grill. Yeah, cheers. Oh. 
All right, Lauren, what are we eating now? Now we're on to the salmon burgers. So we actually made up, there's the original recipe salmon burger, but we actually made up the uh, original and cheese. So we're gonna dive on in. Uh, Lawrence has real bacon, but like I mentioned, I'm a pescatarian, so I went with bacon. I don't know how that's gonna change the outcome of this. But uh, yeah, Lawrence will probably be a little bit better, but dive in. Hmm. Great combo of flavors with the Asiago bacon. Oh, I didn't say tomato before. So the consistency reminds me of like a really good crab cake where you get those thick chunks of of crab meat. Okay. I can see so that. So I'm getting yep. that from uh from this burger, but I think it it's really well made. It has nice spice uh spices and seasonings to it. Um the recipe that they provided is fabulous because this is this is a keeper. The cheese in mine, you can see like a little bit like oozing out a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's a nice mixture inside. The way it's like because I've never thought to do like, I'm a big cheese person, so I'll throw a slice of cheese onto anything. But to have it really pre-mixed in, so that way when you're heating up, we didn't throw these on the grill, we just put them in the frying pan. But you can like the nice melt. Yeah, it helps keep, uh, keeps the, um, the moisture in there, doesn't dry it out. Um, so the, the cheese really lends itself to the burger. I wouldn't recommend putting fake bacon on it doesn't really do much for it. <laughs> <laughs> but real bacon definitely adds to it. Overall, I think it's kind of like a, a nice lighter alternative mm -hmm. to, because sometimes like, obviously, especially over the summer, you want to be outside, you want to be growing. Sometimes a burger is really heavy. Yeah. You know, but actually I can see this over like a bed of like mixed greens. Mm -hmm. You get you get some chopped up red onion, chop up some tomato. Yeah. That would be good with that too. Yeah, I think all the components are are great with this one. Uh, the onion, the bacon, the tomato, and and the crunch of the romaine. The romaine. Mm hmm. Yep, I'm a fan. Thanks so much for watching us eat. You can check out Quarry Arctic on FultonFishMarket.com and order there. And be sure to check out Chef Andrew Zimmern's Instagram page where you can find more crazy recipes. Not as crazy as we did, <laughs> but definitely check it out. Thanks for watching.